Hi everyone, how are you? Thought I'd pop on today and show you my process for altering a shoe. And you might be thinking to yourself, why is she altering a shoe? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. The month of March was Women in History Month. And I thought I would alter a shoe. So symbolising all the women that have made their mark, so to say, in history, that when they've like marched or they've been, they've stood up for themselves or, well, whatever they've done, whatever they've done in their chosen field. And because there was quite a few of them, I actually just couldn't think of one specific woman well, I could think of a heap of women, but I just couldn't decide on who I just wanted to more or less single out. So that's why I'm doing a shoe. So as you can see, my process, I started off with just putting some book text paper down, and then I gave it a paint with some purpley mauve colour, and then I put a couple of layers of lace around it, and I put a little string of silver sparkly bling around it and just using the hot glue gun all the time. And here I'm putting a string of the beaded ribbon lace so that it just dangles down over the heel. And I had so much fun doing this. So that's a close-up of what the shoe looks like so far. It's so pretty. <laughs> and of course, purple's my favourite colour. <laughs> well, shades of purple. So here I've decided to put just a string of the pearls around the top. More or less just to cover up the join of the two laces and where the laces meet the shoe. And here I'm just blinging up the toe of the shoe with, um, I don't know, some pretend diamonds, I like to call them. <laughs> and a few more diamonds, and then just a string of those little pretend diamonds down the front and just to top the toe off I've got a little white leaf applique and I'm just putting a little purple sparkly flower on the on the toe and because I had that flower on the toe I thought oh I better put some flowers on the heel I wanted to leave the heel black just so that it just adds a little bit of contrast to the white and the mauve colour I put on there And then when I got the um, the shoe finished, I just thought, hmm, a bit boring, even though it's very pretty. And I thought, what can I put in it? So I decided to make up some little inspirational tags um, that have had quotes on it, just from a couple of women that I picked out from history. And I'm just making the tags the normal way, putting a bit of textbook paper on, then putting a bit of paint on them, and a little bit of stenciling. And I got the quotes, I printed some quotes off the internet, and I chose one from Anita Roddick that says, Whatever you do, be different. That was the advice my mother gave me. And I can't think of better advice for an entrepreneur. If you're different, you will stand out. Which is so true. You have to be yourself and be different. And then I chose another quote from Maya Angelou that said, Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. And then I chose a quote from Helen Keller which said, 
when we do the best we can, we never know what miracle is wrought in our life or in the life of another. And the last quote I chose just for the tag to go in the shoe was from Eleanor Roosevelt. And, oh, I just love this quote. It says, a woman is like a tea bag. You never know how strong she is until she gets in hot water. <laughs> so, as you can see, I just made the tags in the normal way, printed off the quotes off the internet, put a little bit of twine up the top just for a little bit of added decoration and I placed the cards in the shoe. So as I'm participating in the Inspiration Conspiracy Video Hop, I hope that you will hop on over to the next video and you can get to the next video just by going down and clicking on the top link in my description box and I hope you enjoyed my process of altering a shoe and some inspirational quote tags from some famous women in history. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye.